So we have seen uh, how to create a function in NWBC. Okay, so let's quickly take a look. So when we created the function, if you remember, we, we were asked to save um, the function that we were creating, right? So let's quick take a look at the screen. So you, it asks you, when you create a function, it has to ask you to save, right? And immediately this function is uh, created, okay? But you can also get approval before creating the, before the function is created in your system. Okay, so let's see how to do that, okay? How to create a function with approvals, okay? So, in order to do that, there are three things that need to happen first. Okay, first, in the backend system, the JARS system, there is a parameter that needs to be set in SPRO. So you go to SPRO, Governor Risk uh, GRC, Access Control, and in the Maintain Configuration Settings, because approval means a workflow, so we need to use workflow for the approvals, right? So select the workflow parameter group. And because we want to get approvals for creating a function, the parameter that you would use in this case would be 1064. Worker for function maintenance. And there are this is a yes or no field, uh, value, parameter. Okay, now click on save. So you'll be asked to put it in a transport request. If you want, you can put it in a transport request. Let me put it in there. Okay. That's the first thing needs to do. Second thing needs to, you need to make sure the person who's going to approve uh, the function, right? That user, let's say in our case, this is that user is has the function approval rule okay this grac function approval rule this needs to be assigned to the function approval okay this rule sap underscore grc underscore function underscore approval now the third thing that needs to be done is to you need to activate the workflow that is required for approving the function creation okay so you go to msmp workflow so you go to access control and then workflow access control and click on maintain msmp workflows so it will open up the msmp maintenance screen workflow maintenance screen right msmp workflow configuration screen so yet there are about 11 uh, process ids that you have for various purposes okay so grac access request is the uh, workflow for uh, submitting and for user provisioning basically okay so and for example this one is what would you want to look this is for function uh, creation approval this is for risk creation approval this is for role creation approval okay role creation or role uh, changes approval okay if there are sod risk violations in your system so this is for this approval this workflow is for reviewing the sod risks and this process id is for uar okay user access review 
Okay. So there are for various purposes, you have various uh, process IDs, various workflows basically. Now every process ID will have a, a process initiator which is maintained in uh, the maintained rules. So for every rule, okay, so there is a rule and then it will have a initiator, okay, process initiator. And every process has a rule result, so you have a rule result here also, okay? And then, depending on the initiator, right? So if you go to routing, it tells you the initiator, the rule ID initiator, what path it has to take, okay? So the path ID is defined in the route mapping and based on this path the maintained path will be configured okay so the path has maintained path uh, phase has your path and the stages that needs to be you know gone through to complete that path okay in that path so now we have only one, so you have one path here, which is the default path, and there's only one stage. Now you can create your own, uh, you know, you can assign as many paths as you want to a process ID uh, for a workflow, depending on your business requirement. Okay, so let's, we have only one path and our, we have a very simple uh, requirement. So we select in the process global settings, we select the process ID that we want to configure. In our case, because we want to approve function, uh, creation of function, we select SAP GRSA function approval. Okay, that work, this workflow. And then click on display change. Okay, you have to be in the change mode. Now we know, we have seen what the rule ID is. Uh, you select the function initiator rule okay that has a one rule result and it the process initiator is grs if, if you can see a p p r underscore initiator and then the route mapping you have the rule id initiator and then it is going to tell you what that initiator path that initiator has to take so it goes to GRSA default path. So you go to default path, maintain paths, and you have you have that there. And then here is what you maintain stages, and then you maintain the agent IDs, okay, for approval. So you click on modify, and click on show details, and you have to assign an agent ID, meaning who the person, who the owner is. Okay, so click on agent ID and click on function approval. Okay, now where is this information coming from? This information is coming from agent IDs. Okay, so let's quickly go to agent IDs before we save. So if you go to agent IDs, right, so you have uh, the function approval which is for approval, right? The agent ID, function approval. So this is the value it is taking in maintained paths. Okay, so let's assume, or well, let's see what it contains, right? So when you say modify, so agent ID is this, what is the purpose of this agent? It's for function maintenance approval. The approval, per, the widget, what is the purpose of the agent? It is approval. What is the agent type? You know, it says PFCG role. Okay. And this is a role. So what this means is somebody who wants to, who wants, you know, whoever is the approval for function creation, that user needs to have this role assigned to him or her. Okay. That's what we saw earlier, right? So the user has this role. So this is where the setup is. Okay. For the role. So if you go to maintain paths, 
and then you go to modify stages show details and you select the agent ID okay and click on save now you have approval tab as uh, anyone approver or all approvers right so when you say all approvers if the role was that to stand the SAP GRAC function approval role is assigned to let's say three people okay so until those three all the three users as approve the function will not be created that's what that's what all approvers mean anyone approver any one of the three you know, users approve the function id will be created so like, let's click on save okay so the data is saved and then you need to go and generate because you made changes to the workflow you have to save and activate the changes so we are not going to transport this so say so do not transport and then you activate it okay process activation finished a new version is generated so this is the actual version 3 is generated and then if you see scroll down okay now so the process is generated the uh, process is activated now let us go to nwbc and try to create a function okay so i think this function box is already open let's close this and you go to nwbc come to setup and click on functions and then let's make a copy of a function okay so let's take make a copy of a function I'm going to say this as Z MSB okay and see instead of now instead of because we activated that parameter uh, in SPRO the configuration parameter you get the submit button okay so click on submit and a workflow request is automatically submitted okay now what should happen is the function approvers will log in to end up, you know, into the GRC system, come to NWBC, and then go to access management. And they will have this option here called search requests. So they will go to search requests and pick. Okay, so before we do that, okay, let's confirm uh, whether in setup. In functions whether we have the Z MSB function or not so we don't have anything with starting with a Z okay so let's close this now let's go back to the function approval okay so let's begin okay let's restart this so the function approval would come to access management okay and then click on search request and from the process id we are going to look there is going to look for function approval workflow okay that's what we configured for function maintenance and search okay so if you see in the function that you wanted to create is shown you set the, uh, the approver will select that function and if you see where the instant status is for example it is going to give you the status of who all can approve this uh, function 
okay there are two people who can approve and i user 51 and an i user 48 okay because both these users were are assigned those that role the function approval role okay now to approve the uh, function request the user would click on administration and you will get the default path id right this is the path id that we had in the msmp configuration and then the path status and the decision status okay state status so you click on this the path id the details of the function is going will be displayed to the approver okay so you have the functions and if you want to put some notes you can you know you will have the notes about the function here okay so once the function approver confirms everything looks good he will then approve the request so the SOD function is approved okay now let's go and check let's close this and if you see this if you refresh it here it says decision, decision is pending right so where it has to where is the decision so refresh box okay somewhere in there, you, know, you can refresh this okay so let's go back again and see what's the status of that request now it says approved okay now let's go and see if the function has been created or not so go to setup and uh, functions and if you scroll down because we start the naming pattern is a z see now you see the function here so that is how you create a function with approval okay so you need to configure msmp workflow for getting the approval okay so next we will see how to uh, approve a risk also okay get uh, create a risk with approval